for Los Angeles. Mi amiga. <laughs> Rodeo Drive that we oh all my God. dream about at night. Oh, she's taking over BH. Bam. I want you to take this on our walk. Are you freaking kidding me? If you have the knife and I have the mace, we're going to be good. Do you have spanks on underneath that? Because I can see the lines and your legs. Oh my gosh. They make you look like a sausage. Just stop. You attacked my weight loss, my two successes that I've had after a really hard year. You're having a hard year now? I had one last year. I understand year. that. So I, I have two you successes have. and you went bam, bam. It's a stupid rumor. Just a rumor that she heard. So, first of all, Vicky is a liar. The lady is dangerous. I don't really give a f. You guys can go f off, all of you. Disaster. It's good you're here. So it's been a couple weeks. Yeah. A lot of stuff sucks right now. But you've got to figure out a way, Gina, of taking all of this that sucks and how you're going to just take it to make you stronger, move forward, get past it. So the DUI, obviously, I've been really hard on myself about it. But I have it, you know what? I have that, I feel like, in perspective where it's like, I think it was a reality check. I think dealing with oh, trying to hold everything together and dealing with everybody and their problems and everything and in that stress of it all, I made a really bad decision. Right, right. I'm on the other side of that, at least emotionally. Good. Now I'm dealing with another thing because you know that Matt and I have been trying to co-parent. Right, right, right. Apparently for like the last six months or so, he has been dating the girl that he had the affair with. Oh. And I'm, and I felt, and I, it's a cut punch. And I didn't tell anybody. That's a thing. I told nobody because I just kept thinking, like, it's my family and I wanted to protect my family because I never wanted my family to be broken up. I do hold everything in and I think I can handle everything and I'm like, it's fine. I'm going to manage this and I'm going to fix everything. I'm going to fix everything. And then... It gets to a point where too much stuff builds and happens, and you realize like it's like holding poison inside your body, and it's like just starting to like kill you. But I feel like it's like either me or him at this point because right. I'm drowning in his right. secrets, you know, and I can't do it anymore. Right. But maybe I think it really brought light to wow, I'm like really enabling him a lot. Yeah. The secret. It's obviously embarrassing for Matt, but it's also like embarrassing for me. You know, like nobody likes to feel like they weren't good enough. I have to accept that um, yes. I'm no longer in charge of right. Matt's life. Right, right. Because a part of your healing is for you to regain back. I've got to be in control now of my life. And then maybe in time, like I just won't care as much, you know? You really won't. The rest of the year is going to be a little bit easier. Get my oh adversity my out of the way in the really beginning. It can't and... get any worse. I, I went to jail, adultery, divorce. <laughs> you guys were all out to dinner. We were out to dinner. Where did you guys go? We went to Tortilla Republic. Republic. I heard how you were really upset about everything that was went down there. Where is this coming from? It's coming from Vicky. Kelly knows that I know more than I've said. Are you talking about the train? Tamara, do not Tamara. talk about that. Hey. Tamara. Tamara. I'm just coming back from Aspen. Bronwyn gives me a call and says, hey, we all went out. And uh, there were some rumors circulating about you. And I'm like, like, what? And she said, a train. This is absolutely ludicrous. I I've never even done a threesome, let alone like a train. So first of all, Vicky is a liar. She, she lied about out. cancer. Yes. So right. the worst thing that you could possibly lie about, the lady is dangerous. Yeah, and you have to stop slinging stuff back. Just let it I, I, go. I How am I slinging stuff? You want to with me, you little pig?
pig of a fucking bitch. That's exactly what's gonna happen to you. Don't fucking text me. I'm just saying, like, as of late, you know, this I is, I feel like her. I'm not talking about Vicky. I don't even want to have anything to do with her. Okay, You're telling I know me that, that okay, I need to. Just... I don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk about her. It's, it's I'm whatever right. Happens. You, you do what you want. Shannon, Gina, and Tamara and I agreed not to talk about the train rumor. But I thought they meant don't tell anyone else. I didn't assume they meant don't tell Kelly. Honestly, if, if she had come over today and I didn't tell her, I would have felt like I was a liar. But I was only trying to give her a heads up, because that's what friends do. I'd rather be like a bitch that starts shit, I think, than a liar. Yeah. Just be I, prepared I to be a bitch that starts shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So Tamara says you guys are gonna go to Rodeo Drive. You've never been to Rodeo Drive? Oh my God, no. Are you coming? Can you come? Oh, let's go. It's yeah, fun but over I want to go. I want to go. I'll go over there. Pop my Rodeo cherry. It'll be pink and shiny and filled with diamonds. <laughs> <laughs>